Hi guys, welcome to episode 20 of Best Mac Apps. Today I'll be showing you other 6 Best Mac Apps for September 2018. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video is released. Okay, without further delay, let's get started. The first app on the list is called Set App here. Set App is like a Mac App Store. In fact, it provides more than 100 apps from different developers for you to choose from. The difference between Set App and App Store is that for App Store, you have to buy each app in a full price. But with Set App, you only pay for monthly or yearly subscription fee. But you are able to use more than 100 apps in a much cheaper price. If you are interested, I have included the link in the description for, for you to register and start using the app. Here is the link to register for this set app. You just register here and then you can purchase the monthly or yearly subscription. But like I said, it's much cheaper if you do that because it has lots of apps. Especially set app here is designed by Magpore. So here you can see which means you can also have access to these apps for free if you subscribe not just these apps also other apps from other developers as well you can see here they put the app into different categories like lifestyle you can see lots of very good apps they have creativity developer tool productivity you see these apps are great mac hack even iMazing is here you buy as well here if you buy from its website itself it may cost a lot of money but in here after you subscribe you can download all of these apps without any other extra costs you take a look maintenance here you can see clean my mac x disk drill endurance gemini lots of apps i'll show you one example if i download one of them just click here yeah, they also tell you how to use the app and what features it offers. After the download is finished, it just works out of the box. You don't have to do anything. It tells you what to do. If you look at the launch pad, it's right here, just like you install a normal app. It's at the top here. And what happens if you want to uninstall it, you can uninstall it in a normal way. But what's great about this is that whatever apps you downloaded from here, it will create like um, a package. That whatever app you install, it will be only inside that package. Which means if you want to uninstall it, you just come back to set app here. Let's say I want to uninstall this, click there and you can see the word open. You click this down arrow sign. Then we have the word uninstall by itself. You don't have to go through other apps to install this. If I click on uninstall here, you will see, you see they say remove application or uninstall completely. See, you just have this built in. So you don't have to worry, you want to remove it completely, just click here. Done. Just work smoothly. And like I said, if you like testing apps or you like to test it first before you decide to buy it, this setup is the best choice for you because it allows you to do that. You can test a variety of apps and there are hundreds of them for you to test and decide which one you like the most before you buy. And again, it's not pirated. You can have a peace of mind about that. All of these apps are fully licensed through subscription. It's just like when you use Spotify, all the songs from different artists, and singers it's the same you pay monthly subscription fee to listen to all of those songs this app is exactly the same so you can have access to hundreds of apps it's really awesome you don't regret downloading this if you're new to mac os i would recommend you downloading this app and test it by yourself because they have lots of great apps okay this is app number one let's move on to app number two app number two is called haze over here so what this app does is that it allows you to dim your Mac background so that you won't be distracted by other running apps in the background. As you can see, they have choices for you. The first choice is dim all windows on displays without keyboard focus or highlight windows without keyboard focus. Yeah, this part is the place where you can select to let it enable to start from login. Let me show you an example here. Here, this is where you set how much you want to dim your background from slightly dark all the way to completely dark like this or no dark at all or like this I'll show you example let's say I open another app and make it a bit smaller you can see when I click on this the other app on the background apart from my windows that I am using right now it's in a dim mode so that you don't get distracted by that if I click on this you see 
In this case, the app that you are currently not using will be dimmed darker so that you're not distracted by it. This app is really cool. I mean, you will never get this feature from even Mac OS, Mojave. They haven't introduced this feature yet. But having this feature is really cool. Being able to just dim everything else darker or even just like totally dark like this. Nothing you can see, but that's too much. This is much better. Anything you're using, whatever in the background, like this, everything else still running, but it just doesn't care, just only focus on the window that you're using in front of you. It's really cool. Whatever window you click on, it just pop that up. It's really awesome. And then the add up window just out of your sight. And again, there's nothing much with this app. It's just like that. It just dim your background. And trust me, being able to dim your background like that, it really helps a lot. And again, I would recommend you trying this app by yourself to find out how great it is. Okay, this is app number two. Let's move on to app number three. App number three is called Declutter here. Now, on my Mac desktop, you can see there are four folders that have been created by this Declutter app. So what this app does is that it allows you to reorganize your Mac desktop to have a cleaner look because it will put those messy files on your Mac desktop into different folders based on its categories. As you can see, there are four categories, pictures, music, documents and videos so right now i don't have any files on my desktop but let's see if we put some files on my desktop okay now i have some files on my desktop i have music here i have some pictures here if you click on this i click declutter now let's see what happened see all disappear they just put into different categories but there's one left because this file the ending is m4a but if you take a look at other files here if you take a look at photo here see all the pictures are here music at the moment see right here so it just move those files automatically by itself into different folders that it have set on the screen it's really awesome if it is a movie it will move here so it makes your mac desktop look much cleaner this is just like on mac os mojave but mac os mojave it won't categorize those files into different folders like the clutter app in mac os mojave it just stack all files together file that has similar extension it will stack together for example like pictures or music it will stack together but again it's still not inside a folder to me i think this is better than stacking files together because it just put files into different categories based on your preference but this one you don't have to have mac os mojave i am currently using mac os high sierra and you just use this app it just move those files for you into different categories like this in a more organized way so as you can see, there's one file left on the screen. As you can see, the extension of this file is M4A. It is a music file, but it's Apple Music. So the music folder does not recognize this file. You have to set it so that it will recognize. You just click on the icon of this app here at the top. And then the music, do you know this is a music file? You click on that. You see at the bottom here is the extension that you can add. So I can add that to M4A. Click done, you click declutter again, see, it disappeared. It just moved into the music app. If you have only one, you just drag and drop here by yourself. But let's say you have like 20 of them. You just set that like what I show you at the moment. Go to here and then click on any of these four folders. And then you can add the extension you want to. Being able to organize your Mac desktop like that is really awesome. And again, you don't need Mac OS Mojave. Any Mac OS will work as long as you have this app installed. Okay, this is app number three. Let's move on to app number four. App number four is called Cloud Mounter. Here, as its name suggests, what this app does is that it allows you to mount all your cloud drives onto your Mac so that you can use them as your local drives. And you can see here, these are the cloud drives that it supports. It has Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon, OneDrive, WebDev, Box. These four in the middle, I know. So I usually use Google Drive. I also use Dropbox. Let me show you where I add Google Drive here. Now you just click Allowed. You can see the account name and the space I have. I still have 14.83 gigabytes of free storage left. So the name I can change. I just say Google Drive and I click Mount and it's done. Here. This is inside my Google Drive. It became a drive now. So to find it, you go to Finder here. Here. 
it's Google Drive. So it become a drive. Whatever you put it here, it will upload to the Google Drive server. So you don't have to lock in the Google Drive and put it there. It's just right here on your computer as a local drive. You can also see it here at the top menu bar, this one. Google Drive. You can have the option to show in Finder, Encrypt, Unmount. You can also add another drive. But if you want to use it, you have to go to Finder. It's right here. You can copy and paste any file that you have. Let's say I have a picture here. This one, just drag and drop. Now it's on my Google Drive. You can wait for it to upload. It's uploading. Done. So it shows you a very small logo next to the file that you drag in here so that you know that it's not ready to be used. And now when that icon disappears, it means it's now stored on Google Drive. It's really cool. I mean, being able to mount all your cloud drives onto your Mac to be able to use it locally like that is kind of awesome. So this is app number four. Let's move on to app number five. App number five is called Bartender here. This app has been used by lots of people already in the past and has been introduced or reviewed by many other people already. And I still think this app is worth mentioning. That's why I choose to show you today. So this app is very useful, especially for those who have very messy menu bar. In my case here, you can see on my menu bar because this is iMac. That's why the screen is kind of big, have more space. If it's on my MacBook computer, the space is very small. If I have all of these already, I would run out of space on my menu bar but still if you take a look at my menu bar it's kind of messy there are too many icons on it that's when bartender comes in handy because you need to remember that the more apps you install on your Mac the more app icons will appear on the menu bar which will make your menu bar long and kind of messy however with bartender it will help you to organize all of these icons by hiding whatever that you don't really use or rarely use you can hide all of them to make it look cleaner on your menu bar you can see all of these are apps that run at my menu bar i can just hide this you can see the option each of them have the same option this is important so i leave it like that this one i don't really use it much let's say i hide this you can see the same menu bar item should i click hide disappear one by one this one as well i don't use it so hide it disappear i need this so i leave it like that this one is also neat clock I need mount drive I don't really need it here so I can hide let's say I also want to hide this this one as well so there are four options you can see not just hide but also always show shown all the time this one also show but when there are too many on the menu bar like some apps they have lots of features at the menu bar it will block some of these but if you choose this one always show which means whatever running here it will not disappear it's really useful because sometimes you don't want some app to disappear because you want it there all the time whenever you need it you can just click this one this one I need this one I don't want to see hi this one as well Siri I can also hide it gone spotlight search hi I don't need that as well time machine currently not needed volume I need this one I don't need you can also change the appearance so these three dots here you can just change it to something else with glasses like that it looks cooler so basically only important features here is on this the menu items after you change that if you look at your menu bar it's much cleaner nothing important will show here only something important on your menu bar it will show if you want to have it back just click on this it shows what you have hidden you click on it again it shows the one you want to show so it's just high from seeing those hidden if you want to make changes to its preferences you have to right click on it and click preferences here and then you can make some changes so this is bartender it makes your menu bar much cleaner okay this is app number five let's move on to the last app of the list today the last app of the list is called i am plus here when you open it for the first time this is what you will see so basically what i am plus does is that it provides you with all in one instant messenger what i mean here is it's just one app but inside that app you can add as many messengers as you want to as you can see here it supports whatsapp facebook messenger facebook telegram skype google hangouts google slack instagram Tinder, SnapMap, Twitter, WeChat, Google, Inbox, LinkedIn, HipChat, and ChatWork. So you can see it's all in one. So you can get access to all of those services 
through this one single app. So let's add some of these right now. Let's say I want to add my Facebook Messenger and then account name. I, you can leave it like that. You can even add more than one Facebook Messenger as well. Let's say I only have one, so I leave it like that. The sound, I leave it on, notification on. I just put it home, click saved. Now it's here, Instagram, home, saved, Skype, Google. I just leave it Google like that. I say home, I put work, home and work. Twitter, home and work. Okay, let's say these are what I have. To sign in, you have to click on it here. See, this is the familiar look of Facebook Messenger. You just signed in. Keep sign in and click continue. This is my messenger. You can also access Telegram, Skype as well. Google, again, yeah, I can do that too. You see, that's the like Google Drive. You can change the size of it. So you see, you're able to just use all of these in one single app. That's really awesome. You can add another Gmail here if you have more than one. So just go to setting here. I can just add another one. This one, I just say, personal gmail click home click save you see you can have another one this i am it has already been used by lots of people and i would recommend you try using this app by yourself it's awesome okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching these are six best mac apps for september 2018 thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video